Are you ready to do a rapidissimo with me? Let's do it. Shake your body. I have a story for you about my singing bowl. When we first got singing bowls in our classroom, I could not make it sound so beautiful like it sounds right now. I didn't understand what I was doing, but I still kept trying every day. When I first started, it sounded something like this. I couldn't make beautiful sounds like our friend Karuna does with the singing bowl. I tried for probably two months, almost every day, I practiced the singing bowl. And then little by little, I learned the techniques to make the singing bowl sing. For example, if you wrap your hands around the singing bowl, it doesn't make a really nice noise. It's because the beautiful ringing sound actually comes from vibrations. That's tiny little shaking bits in the metal. But when my fingers are wrapped around, it can't shake. So I learned to keep my hand flat when I do the singing bowl. See? The tiny little vibrations keep ringing. Look what happens if I grab the bowl while it's making vibrations. It stops it right away. Hmm. I also learned that I have to pull against the bowl. Pull in, pull in, pull in. That's what keeps the sound ringing, those little vibrations ringing around and around to make noise for us. Sometimes when you try something new, if it doesn't work right away, it's easy to just quit and not try anymore and say, I can't do that. I've certainly done that before in my life. But I am glad that I kept trying with the singing bowl and trying and trying and trying because finally I got it. Today I want to try something else new with you. I saw a really cool video on the internet of a man who was using rap beats. Rap is a kind of music and he was reading Dr. Seuss stories. So I want to try that with you today. I've never done it before. Maybe it will work. Maybe it will not. But it's great to try new things. Let's see how this goes. But first, for this song, there is a cool little part of the beat that the artist uses his tongue. Watch while I click my tongue. I am putting my tongue uh, on the top of my mouth and then clicking down. Maybe you can try that along with the rap beat too while I'm rapping out Dr. Seuss. Are you ready? Fox, socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box, box in socks. Knocks on fox in socks in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box. Fox in socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks, chicks with blocks. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. 
New socks, two socks. Who socks, two socks. Who so two socks, who so two socks. Here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey gooey. Blue goo, new goo, gooey gooey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that good goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? When beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle. They call this a tweedle beetle bottle puddle battle battle muddle and whoo. When a fox is in the bottle where the tweedle beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a tweedle beetle noodle poodle bottle paddle muddle double fuddle waddle fox in socks, sir. Fox and socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir.